guy with the boat, a guy with the boat. It's been five days since I've uploaded. I'll be more consistent when I'm on the road. Folks, it's four and a half weeks till I'm on the road. So last Tuesday, the last time you guys saw me, um, some parts that came in for the Suburban weren't the right ones. And I had a few days there where I could get something else done. And I was having such bad anxiety about not knowing what my rig was gonna be that I decided, you know what? I've learned so much being at this shop. So much, I'm just gonna wing it. And so I did that and I built a tiny home Bronco. Mm -hmm. So it's either that way or this way. So I was going to put the bed behind the driver's seat. Not a good idea. Because in America, if you're parked, that means that my body will be next to the road. If anybody slams into me, they'll be slammed into me. Literally. So I got to sleep this way. And then if you're smart, like have your head over there as well. So I've got to downsize yet again. So I'm only bringing the important stuff with me. The party chairs and my office chair, of course. Nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna rig this together. You know, no time to overthink things. Let's just start and see where it takes us. It's 95 out. 95 degrees, mm -hmm. and I'm working inside the Bronco. Sweat. You can come over here and help me design this kitchen, Clark? Mm, yeah. All right, bedroom's done, onto the kitchen. Look at that, just like that, I got a bed. So table, how far should it come out? What do you think? We still got quite a bit of room over here. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of room. I like right there. That's what I've been saying, there's a lot of room. Yeah. Even the water's hot, it's boiling hot. Oh, and that feels so good. What else should I build? What's next? <laughs> I got a kitchen, I got a bed. Oh, wait, this isn't done. Check this out. Get the sweat off. Oh, look at that. There's another bar across here. Help me hold it. Mm-hmm. Lost La Vista dashboard. You're a terrible idea. I know my outfit's crazy. It's getting burnt. It's the only long sleeve I could find. It's amazing. I'm never messing with wood again. It's so much fun. It's metal is welding. It's like you're just gluing everything together. It's amazing. Good morning. I'm gonna have it start at the highest point of the existing floor and go out. So then right here. I had to just do a little one inches. And then that should be level. I should probably get a level. I got another pair of jeans and shorts and I'm digging this one. I'm taking this baby out for a test drive. See if I have any, any crazy squeak squeaks. Getting closer, let's do this. I put my arm down on the hot metal when I was welding and it hurts really bad. The pain woke me up because I was like, I guess in my sleep, like scraping it off right there. That black stuff is just black fuzz from this sweater. I'm actually wearing a sweater and my hair's clean, so that's nice. Mm. But after I took a shower, I came back and started welding again. So. Today's a big day. I think I'm still dead asleep. I'm good, actually. I feel good. I've got my arm all bandaged up. Look at that! Both of them fit. Watch out, everybody.
shot. There's only a few things that I won't part with. And one of them is the office chair. I've had this office chair for a decade. So I need to somehow turn this office chair into a passenger seat and a toilet. That's what I'm gonna do. So do you guys wanna check out my tiny home Bronco? Let's go look at it, come on. <laughs> so it's not done, but it's almost there. Framework is almost complete. Kitchen, I built myself a kitchen. <laughs> Bought my pointer too. Sink is gonna go here. Five gallon bucket is gonna go here with a pump and a faucet and you can just hand pump it. We aren't messing around with too much stuff that needs electricity. Put a little rack up here where I can hang some things to dry when I wash my dishes. This is obviously the countertop that's gonna have some drawers that come out, storage underneath. And then I put a top on here and I'll put some type of guard and this will be storage up here. I could probably put some books. That's the plan of the kitchen. This here is the bed. So it can be this size or I decided to go ahead and put this whoop, on a hinge so that it can turn into a larger bed. Pretty large. I think two people can fit here. Very nice. If I want to, I still need to figure out how I'm going to have this stay upright like that. But And then there's storage underneath obviously. And then this here is all going to be closed up and storage with a little countertop. I'm going to have this swing out. I could put a laptop on it. This is the swing from my old house. So now over here, as you can see, I evened out the floor. I'm trying to decide whether to put hardwood in or what kind of, you know, what, what I want to do for flooring. I'm trying to keep it as light as possible. Another thing I'm trying to decide is whether to put a bunch of insulation down here or make these like secret compartments. You know, all the storage I can get would be nice to have. However, insulation, necessary. So then up here, that office chair will double as a toilet and a passenger seat. I got this. I know you probably are skeptic, but don't worry, I got it. It's all designed in my head. Just wait till I execute it this week. So a couple batteries here if I have to, but I'm gonna go ahead and try my hardest to um, mount the batteries underneath the Bronco and then have the wires come up through the frame. I don't think see why that would be so difficult. So the solar panel is pretty much the size of the top. It goes from here to there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and build a rack and raise the solar panel to there and then have some like slide out shelves and that's where all my tools will go. And then the windows, I'm putting this like wire mesh exactly the size of the window that will be removable and uh, so that when I am like in the gym or something and I have to leave the dogs in here I can leave the windows down and nobody can get in it's coming together and I'm doing it very quickly so I don't see why this can't be done and the suburban done by the end of hopefully mid September so there you go you guys that's where I've been I've been doing this and I feel so much better just like oh so much stress is off of me. I just, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And if it ends up being too small, that's okay. We can just pick up a trailer to pull then, right? Let's do this. Let's just get on the road. I'm just ready to go have some fun and travel and find a place to go put down some roots, okay? <laughs> what do you guys think? If you have any ideas for the Bronco, leave it in the comments below because that's why I wanted to post this instead of doing like a grand reveal. I like your input. So if you have any ideas, what I should be doing, let me know. By the way, lizard skin, holy crap, it really does work. If you need to do like a heat barrier, we'll see how it does in the cold. But so far, I've been able to work in this. Yes, it's 100 degrees outside and somehow I can manage working in this Bronco. And I'm telling you, it's because I sprayed it with lizard skin. So I'm so excited about that. Four and a half more weeks. On the road. Yeah. Okay. See you guys in the next video. Bye! There's some kind of fire going on. And if that gets any closer, I'm getting out of here. The sun is going down, so now it's time to lizard skin the suburban. Nope. The sun is going down, so now it's time to raptor liner the bourbon. It's like really going up in flames over there. here. I'm not messing around with the fire. Those fires spread fast. And look, that's the freeway. That's the only way out of here. Back there is just mountains and valleys. And there's the fire. So if it got onto the other side of the freeway, this would be us. Yeah, no thank you. I'm out. Oh my god.
got the important stuff. Hard drive, passport. Dogs are with Jared. <laughs> because my Bronco is all torn apart, so we're gonna go do laundry while they put out this fire. Hopefully they get it before that house. Here's my head and my butt. How much room is there? Let's give myself a little bit of space. Like that. Six inches. Six inches. All right. A good six inches. That's so we're gonna go with. Six inches is nice. You, you can know? do a lot with six inches with the right attitude. <laughs> hey, you, you move, why you move my fan away? It's so hot. It is. I'm gonna start welding. Even so the inside. I don't have time. <clears throat> sitting around. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sitting around. It's just like any downtime right now. Well, flag is drying so I may as well start welding this you know what I mean stuff like that like it can't be any more sitting around thinking about what I got to do I just got to do it so I'm just gonna start building a frame for the bed bed frame bed frame all right perfect and then since there's some space maybe I'll do a drawer that pulls out and that'll mm -hmm. be the stove maybe that I don't know or like if I'm camping to mm -hmm. do the double stove stuff mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I just need some, some type of storage that's good I'm feeling good about this. Okay. What are you doing? I love you. Oh, oh two puppies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, loving lovers. You guys are so cute.